Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome to The Free Show. Pumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my first look miniseries coverage of Meridian Squad 22. It's by a bunch of games, guys and gals. It is. It's by Elder Games, Verge Games, and Head Up Games. Shocking, crazy, psychopathic, I know! A bunch of games came together to make this game. I don't know, it's fine. It's fun. It's entering into Steam Early Access tomorrow, which would be June 2nd. But though by the time this actually airs, it'll probably be June 2nd. Anyway, June 2nd, 2016, it enters Steam Early Access, and that is why I'm doing a First Look miniseries. When this fully releases, God willing, and there's time, I will probably do a full, well, a full Let's Play, assuming I like what I see enough to do that. We're going to give it a shot here. I really do like playing RTS games. I'm going to go off on a small tangent here. I'll try to keep it short, but I do like RTS games. I hate RTS games as multiplayer. The whole beauty and the concept and the idea and why I like RTS games is the fact that they're pretty much any RTS game, there is somewhere between like 10 and 25 units per faction, race, whatever the case is. And there's a whole bunch of different tech, so research, upgrades, and stuff like that. And then there's the tier, you know, you build this building and this building, and then you can build this building, which allows you to get these units, but then you have to add this building and this building to get that unit, you know. There's just this whole tier, and it's just, it's beautiful, it's nice, and when you get to the end of it, and you have all the units available, there's a lot of cool synergies, and you can play off of each unit better, and it's just, it's a full, complete package, and there's a lot of strategy involved, and I love that. When you play it multiplayer, 90% of the time, most games end in, what, 10, 5, 10 minutes, and it's over because people figure out the best way to rush. They just come at you early on while you're trying to res use your resources, and they kill off your resource. And they keep going, and they keep doing this and doing this, and it's just, it's no fun for me. And additionally, on top of that, say you do start to get through and you get a little bit further in the game. Say you're around one of those 10-minute games, and you're like mid-tier, or just getting near the end tier, and you have, you know, 5, 10, 15 troops laying around, you know, of various tiers, and you got the synergy, and you're ready to go. You're like, yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. Here comes an army of like 100 Tier 1 units that just rushes into you and just slaughters everything. And despite, you know, you almost killing them, or you say you do kill them, but they decimated like or destroyed like 90% of your troops. You start to rebuild. Here comes another wave of 100 because they just went for mass production of these low-level tier units, and they just crush your soul. And there's nothing you can do about it. I just don't enjoy the multiplayer aspect of RTS games. That being said, that doesn't mean it should stop you, and it doesn't mean that I should talk anymore. We're gonna start a new game. We're gonna go in. We're gonna launch a campaign. I'm gonna mute myself beforehand because if I hit a button while the cinematics are playing, it's going to close them. So that being said, let's enjoy. Alright, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The prologue, the CSS Raptor. We're about to land on planet Meridian. 
Expect my next report in an hour. Quinn out. Cool. Transmission sent. Commander, the detailed analysis of Meridian's surface is now complete. We need you on the bridge. All right, select a unit, issue a move order. How do I... What, what? Oh, uh, okay. This is Mark Quinn reporting in. We have begun our began our flight seven days ago. We are about to enter cryosleep. We are just waiting for Reed to finish the last systems check. We will spend the duration of the flight in stasis. Expect my next report once we reach planet Meridian and wake up. Quinn out. This is Mark Quinn reporting in. We just woke up from stasis. We will now run preliminary analysis of planet Meridian. Then we will scan the planet for life signatures. Expect my next report in a few hours once our analysis is complete. Quinn out. This is Mark Quinn reporting in. We were unable to detect any radio frequencies, and there is no sign of the colonist crew just yet. There is, however, a power signature. Reed is still trying to identify its source. We are about to land on planet Meridian. Expect my next report in an hour. Quinn out. All right, I have issued a move command, though I can't... Oh, there we go. Have you heard? Dr. Jeffrey Donovan's among the missing colonists. Jeffrey Donovan! You hear that, guys? Jeffrey Donovan. Man, that guy's got some reputation. Really? Man, that guy's got some reputation. Yeah, he has. All I heard is that he's smart. Like, crazy smart. Yeah, but you know, he's also that scientist type. Yeah, but you know, he's also that scientist type who would kill everything. Sorry, guys. There was a Steam achievement that popped up that screwed up my, uh, my reading what comprehension there. All right. The sensors still pick up only one power signature, but the data we're receiving has been tampered with on purpose. Whoever's out there, they've been waiting for us. See, I need to get in with a project so like we this. Found the colonist, but then why aren't they contacting us? All right, choose what Mark says next. See, I need to get in with a project like this, with a team like this, where I can actually do some voice acting in a game of this caliber. It would be a lot of fun. Well, maybe one day, guys and gals. Maybe one day. Keep petitioning for me, guys. Bumpy for voice acting president. I don't think there is a voice acting president, but still. All right, let's see here. Choose what Mark says next. Dylan, can you confirm if... Yeah. <laughs> see, I guess maybe I shouldn't do voice acting. Sorry, guys. Uh, Dylan, can you confirm if it's the colonists we've detected? Jonas, have you reported this to the council? We need actionable intel. End the conversation. Um, Can you confirm? Dylan, can you confirm if it's the colonists we've detected? Not yet. I do detect life signatures on the surface, but I'll need more time to analyze all the data. Jonas, have you reported this to the council? Jonas, have you reported this to the council? I wanted to, but our communications have been blocked since we've entered the atmosphere. These guys are good. I, I do like... They did a, a good job casting the people so far. I, I like what I hear from the voice cast. It's really nice. We need actionable intel. Now! Stat! Do it! Make it so! All right! Sorry, I'll stop. We need actionable intel. Ooh, Shanista. Uh oh, that's not good. Creepy little baby heads. You guys see that? Commander, I've detected multiple hostiles on board. I am under attack. This is awesome. Can I, can I bring all of you? No? Maybe? Give me the signal. Of course. Target in sight. Push them. Take them out. Take them out, man. Take them out. Yeah, select this to heal a unit. Alright. Oh, I can zoom out a little bit. Sweet. We're gonna use attack move to get moving here. Around the corner, don't get shot again. Let's move out. He's dead already. Everyone, head to the escape pods. Everyone into the escape pods. Alright. What's the plan? 
Well, I gotta say, I'm already a big fan of this game and how it started. The voice acting, it's really cool. Really, really cool. Alright, so mission one, the outpost. Mark Quinn, uh, leader of Squad 22, former Special Forces, uh, Sandra Davis, uh, tech and uh, tactical expert, former Special Forces, uh, Jonas Breyer, a member of the Council High Guard, uh, second in command of Squad 22, and Dylan Reed, former tech assistant and hacker of Squad 17. Oh, he's not even part of our squad. Almost immediately after Squad 22's arrival to Planet Meridian, their ship was attacked and forced to crash land in the wilderness. The squad reaches an abandoned outpost on the surface, but they barely have any time to recover before the unknown enemy engages them on the ground. See, I could do that pretty well too, guys and gals. Uh, it might take me a few tykes, but I could I can do uh, narration pretty decently. I could even go like, almost immediately after Squad 20. It wouldn't really fit for this game, but you know, like maybe a medieval game, you can go with one of those, in the age of chaos, you know, you can do something like that, you know, you, you can get away with it. Anyway, guys and guys, I'll stop babbling. We'll start focusing a little bit more. I'm just having fun. I, I've definitely been uh, noticing voice acting way more lately, guys and gals, since I'm trying to get into it. So, I have a new appreciation for it, we'll say. Alright. Don't forget to use F1 to heal your units. Yes. Oh, I have done so. Alright, what do we, we need to do here? must establish an outpost here so we can explore nearby sectors. Copy. My system just connected to this outpost mainframe. This dude's over here. Ah, right, check the log for more information. Or shardium and these crystals stuff. seem to be flexible materials. We could use them to expand our outpost, maybe even fix the ship. Sorry about that, folks. Apparently, my recording software crashed, so I had to kind of restart this mission. But thankfully, it didn't corrupt all the other stuff. So well, we'll see. All right, let's resume. I need to build stuff. I think I'm gonna go with what they say, just in case there's like gonna be something. I, I got uh, a couple dropships come and land, and then I realized that it was not working anymore. So I, I didn't finish the level or anything like that, but I did get a little bit further than this before it crashed. So I built the three drones. I actually ended up building like five drones. I built five drones, and I had a barracks down, and then I think that was it. And after that. I crashed, or I noticed that I crashed, and I restarted from this spot. Anyway, all that being said, folks, it's fine. We're going to continue on we from here. To produce infantry armor, so more of our squad can join the battle. All right, infantry armor. We need to go and place a, a barracks. So I shall go do that. Basically, inside this rock, apparently, is the best place to place a barracks. I, I don't. It probably isn't. All right. For one, we're gonna go yeah, and ready. fight these guys. Right. No Trooper kind of got wrecked a little bit there. What's the plan? Let's go. All right, so definitely not ideal situation there, but that's okay. We're gonna power these guys up. The barracks is nearly well; it's actually not very quickly built. Yeah, it's actually yeah, just got done. I thought it was actually still quite a bit away before it was gonna be fully built, but nope, I was wrong. Alright, so we have to build up two troopers now. So there's hotkeys for everything. If you click on this and you hit D, it will build drones. If you click on this and you hit T, it'll build troopers. Trooper, reporting for duty. So, I mean, it's pretty simplistic. It's what you would expect. I mean, no surprises here. I think I might have had to build another building before the next dropship came in. Maybe it was a, a power station or something like that. I'm ready to fight. Your command. Squad 22 at your service. All right. Reloading. Nope. Yeah, that's right. It was right after this. Wipe them all out. Trooper ready. Sure. All right. He's dead already. Get him, boys. These robots seem man-made. What's going on here? Copy that. You I'm doing a quick scan chance. of the surrounding area. I should be able to locate where these attacks are coming from. We've run out of power. We need to construct a power plant. Otherwise, we won't be able to build other buildings. That's right. That's where the power plant came from. All right, so W for some reason is the power plant. I don't really know why, but it is. There's nowhere to build there, over here. There's one up there. Hopefully we can build anywhere else. Oh, there we go. We can build, like, up in this general region. All right, so we'll go build there, I guess. That'll do. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. 
Alright, so in case you guys are wondering, I, the reason I thought this wasn't built all the way, it had this red bar and I thought that was the health, and the health would increase as it's going, but apparently it's just the progress bar at the bottom that you gotta keep an eye on. And then boom, it jumps all the way. So I guess it's easier to destroy Commander, things that are being built. Energy signature nearby. Yes. We did. Down this way? Alright. Attack A! Ooh, collect this canister to gain plus one some combat. Kind of sample canister. Something. Open the research terminal and let's put it to good use. Open the research terminal. All right, what's up? I open the research window. Then in the combat column, select the Chimera research and confirm it. So as I'm sure you guys can see right here before your very very dusty eyes. I don't know if your eyes are dusty, but this is up here. There's a button that shows where the research is. You can click on this once you have uh, the research required. You hover over it. It says it cost one of these. We have one of those, and now we can learn the Chimera. We'll need a factory to produce chimeras. Contact. All right, so I guess now we must build a factory. So let's build the factory, which is the F button. I'm sure you guys figured that one out on your own, but in case you didn't, oh, the coordinates. we're being attacked again. Got it. Yes, Back away with All our right. trooper here. Put a little bit of micro if we could. Enemy settlement right. That's where these attacks are coming from. There we go. Everybody is fully Give healed now. We need to produce more chimeras, then take that settlement out before we're overrun. Alright, so you detected a settlement, we have to take it out before we're overrun. We need more chimera to do so. Alright, this is about to be built right there, and it is. We'll put you back on your deal. And we will start building some chimera. Let's see. Guess we'll build a few more, and uh, we gotta exterminate Ready. the threat. So, let's, let's see if we can't out. slowly start to move okay. out. No problem. I think what I'm gonna yes, do sir. is change my uh, change what how this is working. I'm gonna set you guys to group sure two. Here, set you guys that. to group one. Let's do this. Two. I'm waiting for your orders. Give me the two. I'm gonna set all of you yes. to group three. Is that a thing I can do? Yeah. Okay. What's the plan? So I want group two to come forward, I want group one to back them up. These guys move quicker, so I feel like, and these guys are probably tankier, so I feel like these guys should be on the front. Oh, there's a group over here. They should be tanking more than the other guys should be, in my opinion. Alright, so we managed to kill that off. All right, so we did that. Um, right away. Oh, and something okay. decided to attack our base from the side. Interestingly Sit enough, you don't stand a chance. I'm gonna try to help All out on this. Sure thing. Take him out. Attacking. Front, What's and I think we'll be okay. Just gonna make sure this guy doesn't die. Sure. Here we go. We're gonna group up. We're gonna get all of these guys together. All of these guys plus this guy. Ooh. Technically, that's a girl. Alright, so one. Give me the sit Sorry, one. Contact. Arr. Contact. I'm listening. There we go. One. The coordinates. Three, and I believe we already Camera have two. Reporting. Squad twenty-two All right. at your service. I'm gonna group up. Commander, no Chimera problem. and everybody up On together. And throw the heel out, Trigger and it ready. looks like a big a blob of net. Well, a singular Jesus. nasty guy's gonna come over here. We are actually maxed out on troops. We're gonna build some more Chimera if we can. We're gonna back out with him. Let's move out. Ready. Let's move out. Move over here. I'm ready. We can take another economy canister. I don't know if that's a thing that we needed to take right away or not. Attacking. Aiming. I'm gonna go over here. Our healing thing is almost ready. Yes. We're actually gonna come up here now. Take it nice and slow. I'll do that. Okay. Back away. I'm gonna go back in here and we should be able to pretty easily handle this. What is your command? Right away. No, it went down. Tell me where to go. We are fools. We have cost ourselves so much. Yes, it's fine. Consider it done. Alright, 
We're gonna hit two. When this guy comes out, we'll add him in here. You don't stand a chance. I think it said that we can research something else. So remember, when you pause, it does actually, or when you go to research, it does actually pause the game. So that being said, it looks like we can now learn how to build the infiltrator unit, invisible unit that is permanently revealed when it attacks. While invisible, it cannot be targeted by anything except for defense turrets. Yes, I'm sure I wish to research this. I'm going to go here, and we are going to throw out a heal. Chimera at your service. We're going to add you yeah. to group two. Will do. Commander, what's on your mind? Chimera reporting. Group two, control two. Is there a situation? Control three. Squad twenty two. What your is service. your command? Alright, let's head up here. Contact. I would like to get as much as I'm I can out assistance. of the map if at all possible. Need assistance. Your command. What's the plan? Alright. Trooper ready. Sure. Yes, sir. Copy that. Attacking! Give me the coordinates. Come on, boys, hang in there. Hang in there, all right. Looks like we got some more stuff over here. Right away. Yeah. Run away. Run away. All right. So we did okay there. Got ourselves another canister of awesome. We're gonna definitely have to throw some more heals. I'm hoping there's gonna be like a healing unit too, or that this like gets lowered. I mean, granted, me it's not that important. Like, we can probably just send these guys in like this. As long as we don't send our main guys in, what does it really matter? I imagine not a whole lot of bad stuff is going to happen to us. In fact... Oh. In fact, that's pretty awful that we're getting shot. Why are you guys all freaked out? Get back to work. Take it out. Standing by. Davis here. Davis, don't die. I'll do that. Target in sight. We can do it. All right, so we did that. We handled whatever was going on. Wipe them all out. Our dudes are doing whatever they're doing. Let's do this. Let me get you to come over here. Go there. You repair that? Is that a thing you can do? Let's see. Is there a repair button for you? Can we repair with this? Can sell the building. Uh, construct. Mining tool. Huh. You'd think that there'd be a way to repair, but apparently not, so if that went down, we'd have to actually fix it, which is weird. Take them out. What is it? What's the plan? Copy that. Okay. Copy. Where to? Guys, run Let's away. Do this. What's next? This way. reporting. I'm here. Let's do this. Oh man, that, that was actually almost really bad. Okay. Alright. What we're going to want to do is to get a couple infiltrators. Them over there. Get a couple more of these guys over here. Of course, sir. I'm ready. You don't stand a chance. Alright. Well, we're still battling on this side. It looks like we're winning, but slowly. Alright. So let's head on up this way. What is your command? Chimera here. Get those guys to go do that. We're gonna continue to move around the map and try to leech as many elements and things as we can out of the map. Good idea. Makes me feel pretty good. I don't I don't know if we get to keep stuff from map to map, so maybe we should look to see if there's anything else we can research. But either way, it looks like we're about to be victorious no matter what. Alright, infiltrate as a ray, and we're ready to go in and do some meta. They won't see me coming. How can I help? Of course, sir. Guys, come on. Get in there, start killing stuff. Alright, that thing should be going down fairly soon, and we should be victorious. Way more troops up in that top area than I thought. But it worked out okay. It truly did. Enemy base 
was part of a massive automated defense Davis system. Here. It detected our presence and sent out a distress call to nearby outposts. Attacking! Well, that can't be used. So this position's compromised. We need to strengthen our defenses and explore nearby sectors as quickly as possible. All right, you have successfully eliminated the Skelleborg thread. You are free to stay and collect any remaining samples. Oh, cool. So if we didn't fully clear the map, we could actually do so after the battle. That's nice. I like that. That's a cool feature. Well, so far, guys and gals, I have no qualms at all about uh, continuing to play this and uh, doing a full LP of this when it comes out. So far, I'm absolutely enjoying this a lot. I'd like to figure out how to repair something. That would make me pretty happy. I have a drone over here. Those must be all drones that are just chilling there. Hmm. We need five power. I wonder how you fix a building. There's got to be some sort of way, right? Or do you just have to sell it and rebuild it if you take damage? It doesn't make a whole lot of sense that they would uh, not have a way of repairing anything. It doesn't seem like it. Maybe there's a different unit that does that. Anyway, folks, I'm going to break off the episode right here. I hope you guys had some fun. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. If you guys want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, or any of that wonderful fun stuff, it'll be down below in the description of the video. Again, I hope you guys had a blast. I had a lot of fun playing it, and yeah, it feels good to play an RTS game again. It always does. Oh, It always is an enjoyable experience. Crazy and chaotic at times, and sometimes facepalm worthy. Most times, I would assume that's the case. But always enjoyable, at least on some level. Alright folks, that's it. The game once again is called Meridian Squad 22. It releases tomorrow or possibly today, depending on when the video goes up. June 2nd, 2016. You guys can get it. It'll be in Steam Early Access. And, well, I hope you guys do and I hope you guys enjoy it. Until the very next episode, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show and I will see you later.